Hey guys, how are you all doing? <laughs> oh my god, I don't know why I'm so excited. I'm just like, oh my god, I've not made like a personal video in like a month now. I've not made like a proper vlog. So I was like, I need to make one. I need to like talk to my people and hear from you guys as well. I hope you guys are doing okay. I have totally missed you guys. I've only been posting like videos from the concerts I've been attending and I hope you guys are enjoying those as well. But yes, your girl is back. I am back ready to, you know, make some proper, proper, proper vlogs, right? Anyway, so in today's video, we're going to be doing a sort of life update. Who am I kidding? Who am I updating about my life? But well, you guys are still going to get the life of it, you know, as for sorry. <laughs> anyway, it's just a little chit chat for me to bring you guys up to speed about everything that I've been up to, why I've been away, and why I've not been making you no know, personal videos and all of that. But yeah, let's get right into it, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video and the channel to your friends, okay? I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so now let's get into the details of why I have been away. Not like I've been away, but like you guys get my point. Um, so yes, I've been busy writing exams. Oof, that's like the most boring thing to be away for. <laughs> but yeah, that happened. So at the start of the year, right? I literally just I don't know, I started craving exams. Like, who does that? Who craves examinations, you guys? Only me. I'm the only one that I know that craves exams. Everybody's always running away from exams. But yeah, nobody sent me a message. I decided, you know what? I want to take a course. I want to like just, you know, learn something, write an examination. Like I just needed to satisfy that craving of writing an examination, right? So you guys, I signed up for it. And then, you know, when it was not time to start preparing, <laughs> when it was time to start preparing, I was like, who sent me message? Who guys? Then it don't on me that you don't just write exams. You actually have to study and prepare for them. So yeah, that happened, and luckily I passed the exam. It was two actually? I wrote two exams, and I passed. Thank God I did because I don't know what I would have done if I didn't. <laughs> but yeah, that's like why I just had to, you know sort of put making like proper youtube vlogs on old but you know nothing can stop my enjoyment in this life so i had concerts that were like already pre-booked for like that period so i still attended because Marsha well, not leave my book alone and so yeah i attended those concerts which was why i was able to you know turn out those videos in that time period and thankfully those videos did pretty well i'm like oops nice is it, is it is it concert people want to be watching or what because huh, you guys anyway that one is a topic for another day okay let's move on so yeah i did that and like i said i passed the exam so like i'm back now i'm like freer than i was in the last couple of about three months yeah i prepared for about three months for the exams so yeah that happened and in between of course you guys remember i'm engaged i'm engaged oh god it's like the realization always eats me every now and then that i'm actually engaged though <laughs> oh my god you guys it's it's a beautiful feeling of course knowing that you have like your person for life and all of that is absolutely absolutely like amazing like you guys can like properly plan your future you can you know make proper long-term plans with the person oh it's sweet it's sweet it's sweet but yeah sometimes it also just has like oh my god i'm literally like ouch i keep eating this microphone sorry guys i just got a new microphone it's a wireless one but like i keep forgetting it's there so like i keep eating it sorry if it's distorting the sound a bit so yeah like i was saying um sometimes it's just like oh my god i'm actually going to be like with somebody for like the rest of my life <laughs> so while it's a beautiful feeling you know sometimes it's also like a tiny 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 little bit scary but yeah i mean the person that you're with is the person who makes it all worth it and all of that stuff <laughs> so yeah um i'm engaged and my what yep so there was a lot of sound from outside so I had to like shut the window. Anyway, yep. 
so i'm engaged i got engaged in january for those of you who have probably not seen my proposal vlogs you could you know just scroll down a little bit and watch it but yeah so i got I, I got engaged on the first of this year and my wedding has now been slated for december this year Woo! <laughs> so yeah um my wedding is in december and i'm so excited you guys i cannot wait like sometimes i'm like please can we bring this wedding forward because <laughs> i want to party and turn up and especially it's my own wedding party jollof rice like i can't wait Imagine if they actually serve everybody and they don't serve me on that day. We are going to fight. Just kidding. I'm sure they're going to take my food because I'm not, I must taste that rice. Anyway, yeah, guys, my wedding is in December and we are just like trying to, you know, plan and, you know, make arrangements. Um, so, yeah, because of the exam, I had to sort of put that on hold for a bit. But I think we've made considerable progress. We've like booked most of the major vendors that we need. Um, we have our all sorted. We've got most of the major vendors. We've booked, we paid deposits and all of that. I have a makeup artist. We've informed the church who are going to be having, you know, the um, joining ceremony. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, so we basically have like most of the major vendors booked. Um, yeah, um, I've informed, I think I've informed, I already have my bridesmaids, my fiance also as like his groomsmen and all of that yeah so on that end i think we're pretty good although of course there are like still lots of things that we probably need to do like sometimes i feel like even though we have like most of these major vendors booked i feel like there's something i'm not doing i don't know then i have like this wedding planning guide that i just you know used to like calm myself down that okay you guys are on the right track because sometimes it just feels like I expect to be stressed. Like I feel, I need to feel stressed so that I can know that I'm planning a wedding. But I'm not stressed. What's going on? Anyway, I think I should give a lot of a lot of um accolades to my mom in law to be who has been very handsome and very helpful. Oh yeah, and my sister in law to be as well. I still saying to be. They're literally like I already feel like of course my mom in law and my sister in law. <laughs> anyway um yeah they've been very helpful they've been like you know trying to you know help us put everything together which is very very nice i consider myself very lucky maybe that's why i don't feel stressed yet i don't know i feel like the stress is still going to come to be honest maybe like closer to the wedding sure maybe but i hope i don't get stressed really because i don't like stress i I'm, I'm usually very good at stress management maybe that's what's maybe that's what's still happening here but I just don't want to admit it. But I don't really like let things get to me, except I want it to get to me, which is like one of the great things about me, <laughs> I think. Anyway, so all of that has been happening concerning planning the wedding. Um, I'm probably going to, you know, start choosing dresses and all of that. I've been stalling on choosing a wedding dress because I don't know, I was just scared not like scared but like i was just like hesitant because you know the stores might you know get new dresses during the year that i might like better than what i've already chosen like what if i say oh you guys i'm going to take this dress then they bring another fine one and i'm like you know what no never mind i'll take this one instead then they bring another one and i'm like you know what i'll take this one instead they're just like this is a very serious bride so yeah before they would think i'm an unserious bride that's why i've sort of been stalling but yeah, um, I'm going to go try on new dresses and just, you know, see what I like so that I can, you know, finally make a decision. <laughs> so yeah, that should be happening soon. I should film that as well. Yeah, when I go try on new dresses, I'll show you guys. Maybe we can even pick together. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, exciting times ahead, you guys. I'm like so excited and so pumped for the wedding. Oof. <laughs> I mean, you only do this once, so yes, I should dwell and, you know, bask in the, in the you know, feeling. So yes, that's what's been going on with wedding planning. Another very exciting part of the whole thing for me. Oh God, I keep touching this thing. So another very exciting part of the whole thing for me, you guys, is the honeymoon. Jesus Christ, like, I'm looking forward to the honeymoon so much that, no, no, no. I'm very excited about the wedding, but I'm also very excited about the honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, like I'm so excited about the honeymoon. I don't know. Um, 
since I came to the UK, I've not traveled anywhere. So like we're saving all the travel energy for you know the wedding and the honeymoon. So you guys, I can't wait. I cannot wait to go on that vacation. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, so we've decided on our honeymoon destination. Um we're just we're trying to also like put plans in place for that, book our flights, book hotels, book our activities and all of that. So yeah, super pumped, super excited. <laughs> yeah. What else has been going on? What else? Okay, so in between all of this, of course, I've still been having to work because bleh, we have to work. <laughs> so yeah, um, work. I've been working. Work has been good, I think. Yeah, work has been fair. Um, it's been interesting times. I've been, of course, learning a whole lot. And the exam that I wrote, the exam that I wrote actually like was very 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 relevant to like the work that i do so it brought a lot of things to like light and i'm actually super thankful that i actually took that exam yeah it has helped me like see a whole lot of things in new light which i'm super grateful for so if you're thinking about taking courses that are related to your work i absolutely recommend they can you know just like simplify some things that are like rather to me rather complex at the moment but i don't know <laughs> Okay, just to mention, I don't know, I'm telling you guys everything. You guys are like my online best online besties right now because I don't even like talk to a lot of people. But yeah, I mean the, one of the reasons I created this YouTube channel actually was I know I told my the day I decided to create the YouTube channel, I just woke up and I told my boyfriend I was going to start a YouTube channel so that my grandchildren and great 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 grandchildren can like probably stop on my videos and you know just see what they are grandmama was like or what what i'll just have a glimpse into you know my life and all of that stuff so yeah which is of, of course one of the reasons why i'm like sort of comfortable sharing some of these things so hey grandkids if you guys are watching this in 2094 or something oh my god hi anyway yeah so um i digress back to what i was saying yeah so I was talking about further education and taking courses related to your work or maybe not even related to your work maybe just related to other things that you're interested in um so yeah that um oh yeah so on that yeah i i've always said that eh, when it comes to further education like applying for a master's degree or doing phd <laughs> i always feel like it's not for me i don't know like i don't know but the only, the only reason i was trying not to do an msc or an mba is probably one because of peer pressure or two valent increase in my pay and my take-home salary is going to like bring me more money work-wise and you know salary wise or or maybe the way i was craving exams this year maybe i'm craving you know a challenge like those are like some of the things that can you know make me register for those advanced education things to be honest because i i really i don't know this is not advice to anybody of course please absolutely take advanced courses even me that i'm talking i'm still i can wake up tomorrow now and say oh it's mba i want to do or something but i mean i'm 23 i'm still young i have the time in the decisions and change them but as it is right now i don't know but yeah, if, if any of those things, I mean, if anything literally happens, that makes me, you know, see the need for one. But I guess right now I just don't really see it because, maybe because, I mean, I'm working and I don't know. So an MSc or, or an MBA won't really like make a difference in the work that I do at the moment. But if I do see reasons why it will, then maybe I'll consider taking one. But yeah. I'm always of the vibe that I'm more, after I finish this exam. So when I left university, I was like, after this four-year course, I'm not going to read billboards. You know, all that other stuff people say that they're not going to read billboards. They're not even going to read newspapers. And they don't want to read anything. But yeah, it's still a lie. I still see all of them signing up for MSCs and MBAs. <laughs> but yeah, it's all good. So yeah, absolutely take further courses, guys. 
improve yourself in any way that you think you can absolutely absolutely recommend Whew. so yeah um oh god i somehow went back to education after starting with education but yeah <laughs> these are like some of the things that have been in my head of recent of course um yeah so that's what has been up with me i've been busy working writing examinations planning the wedding and you know just basking in the atmosphere of being engaged what else and of course i've been chilling chilling as well so yeah like today i'm going to miami <laughs> just kidding you guys well technically i am going to miami but like i'm going to come back today and sleep in my bed in my flat in london <laughs> okay so there's this old um cinema thing that is like miami set up like almost like you're going to you know miami i'm going to make a vlog on that as well you guys should go watch it okay so yes i'm going to do that this evening i'm so excited i'm like i think i'm already dressed because i'm just waiting for my fiance to come back I'm going to the gym gosh i'm just seeing you guys everything well yeah my fiance went to the gym <laughs> and when he comes back we're going to go to miami <laughs> i wish i wish i wish i could actually go to miami but yeah <laughs> someday soon hopefully anyway um so yeah that's it guys that is my life as it has been of late okay um i hope you guys have enjoyed this video <laughs> even though i was probably rambling most of it but yeah just you know catching up with you guys don't forget to tell me what you guys have been up to as well okay let's start tell me what you've been up to if you've been you know working or schooling you've been trying to jump out you can also tell me how your process is going you can either leave it in the comments here or you know send me a text on instagram i'm always happy to like see messages from you guys on insta as usual right um yeah if you don't follow me on insta you should consider following me on instagram okay i'm like almost always on instagram you can almost always find me on instagram all right so yeah that is it guys um damn. i'll see you guys in my next video okay take care of yourselves and see you later bye